I think I want one of these at my desk. Right now, the Prattville Parks and Recreation Department is offering a fun and unique class focused on baton twirling. And if you're interested, you can come out and check it out every Tuesday. Joining us now is instructor Miranda Muir. Miranda, thank you so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. You got to tell me about your background. How did you get involved with this? So when I first moved to Alabama, when I was four, I'm 24 now, we, they put me in a baton. I saw them on Friday nights in front of the whole stadium and I was obsessed. So I've been doing it for 20 years now and I absolutely love it. It's, it's what I do to calm down. It's what I do to get excited and hyped up. And I love teaching. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Now you mentioned you started at four. What age range is this class for and what kind of experience level do you need? So the, the experience level is all over the board. You could have never touched a baton in your life, not even own one and come to me and we'll still learn. We start at four and we go all the way up through senior year. Wow. So once the second you graduate, you move on. Maybe I should get my girls out there and mm -hmm. twirl some batons with you. Now you have some famous baton twirlers. I do. Who will be joining you soon. Tell us about that. So a couple of our uh, famous baton twirlers are Alabama Crimsonettes. So there's four of them. Leanna Kelly, who is a Prattville native, and then Sally Otts, who's from the Birmingham area, Oak Mountain, and she is absolutely fantastic. Jesse Edwards, who was a Auburn majorette, and then also a Bama majorette, which is like the first time this has ever happened. And then we also have Caitlin Homan, who is from the Birmingham area too, and they're really amazing. So it's a, I also have another Crimsonette, her name is Mary Grace Farish, and she will also be attending, but not teaching, but she's a Prattville native as well. This is every Tuesday for how long? Do they have to be consistent? Can they drop in and come? So and our go? enrollment is 10 months out of the year. We just take a break in July and a break in December, and they can come in whenever they want. They could skip a couple months and then come back. We keep it open because p kids do a million things. A million and one things. That's very convenient mm -hmm. for parents. For the kids who pick up that baton for the first time, or even maybe the teens or adults, what is their reaction when they finally get it? So a lot of them are um, super surprised on how hard it is in the beginning <laughs> because it is quite hard. But once they finally get a trick or finally it starts to make sense, they are overjoyed. I mean, I have kids jumping up and down until they're falling down. It's so exciting. So you said every Tuesday, 10 months out of the year, you can kind of hop in or hop out as you need to. That $40, what does that cover? So that $40 covers my instruction fee and obviously the fee because we're in the Doster Center. It's a large auditorium. So all the, the lights and all that stuff. But it works out to be about $10 a lesson, which is Absolutely amazing. So you just pay that $40 fee and then you show up. Yep, that's it. That's super convenient mm -hmm. for parents and even maybe adults who want to pick up <laughs> a new hobby. So I'm told you are here to show us a move. I Miranda's am. got the moves. Yes. So what do I need to do? So we're going to, this one's about intermediate, but I think you can pick it, it up. Okay. This, okay. it'll be fun. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to point our baton forward. I just pointed it at Peaches exactly. over there. So I, I got that part covered. Yep. Okay. And so point. what you're going to do is you're going to bring the baton towards your nose. Okay. Now, now we're getting hard. Okay. Like so try okay. to hold it more in the middle. Mm -hmm. Peaches right. is over there trying to show me too, but okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to bring it towards our nose. And so what we're going to do is when we let go of the baton, we're going to have our palm as flat as we can make it. Right. And you see, I'm pointing all my mm -hmm. fingers down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to pull it towards your nose and Oh my, it on and your Miranda, hand. no, no. <laughs> Just one little spin. <laughs> there you go, Chloe. Oh, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think Just, that was that great, crazy. but. All right, Miranda, you gotta show me a few more of your moves too. So that was um, intermediate. What is more of an, what does an advanced okay. move look like? More advanced, there's some of these. So Ooh. I'm not using my hand uh -huh. at all. So those are some of those. We can go up and around. Back to this side, all sorts of stuff. Tell me a little bit about your career path. You started at four. When yes. did you kind of really get into the groove of it? Probably around sixth grade. Because okay. then it started to get real, like I was going to try it. I knew in eighth grade that those are high school tryouts. You yes. got to get serious. You mm -hmm. got to look like those girls. You have to twirl like those girls, practice like them. So when I hit sixth grade, I was like, this is what I'm going to do. And then I went through college, and then I or went through high school and trolled all four years, was captain there, started our competition team, all that stuff. Then I started traveling with a competition team in Birmingham. And so we went around the state and started twirling and all that stuff. And that's when I decided I really would like to teach this because I don't want to give it up because my teacher didn't give it up and she had four kids. So she was really amazing. And I wanted to point that out as a career path because for some parents, grandparents who are watching, this may sound like, oh, it's a fun little evening night thing for your kids to do, but it can really turn into something mm -hmm. 
lifelong for a kid. And that's really important to show your kid just all these different opportunities that are happening right here. See, this is why I need one of these so I can point <laughs> right here in our area happening in Prattville every Tuesday. Registrations $40. You can hop in and hop out. Super convenient. Miranda, this was fun. We're going to have to have you back. Yeah, that'd I'm, be great. I would. I'm trying the twirl. The, what, so what, what do we call this move? It's just a palm spin. So just it spins palm. on your palm. Okay. okay. I don't, I don't think I was as, <laughs> as skilled as Miranda would like for you to be, but I appreciate you joining us here on Alabama Live. This was fun. Thank you so much.